at how pretty that looks though. Sometimes I make smart decisions. Other times, not so much. But look how pretty. Oh, I dropped my clip. This is why I literally laugh at people that question my shrinkage. It was looking like I didn't have a lot of hair when it was wet, but look at that. Still not done. <laughs> I'm laughing. To avoid crying. <laughs> These vlogs might not be a good idea. Y'all get too much of my personality and that might turn some of y'all off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm doing another vlog type style wash day routine. Y'all really enjoyed my last one or I'm hoping you enjoy it. I haven't posted it yet. I have like 10 YouTube videos that are just like sitting. Today, we're gonna do it again because I actually really enjoy doing it this way versus just filming and then doing a voiceover. Boring, right? Okay, so before we get started, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products to help promote your hair growth. And yeah, okay. Let's get into it. So let's get into my hair. Um, y'all don't know what's wrong with me, but this is the second time I have washed my hair in four weeks. I know I must be sick or something, but um, my hair is actually 10 days old. So the last wash day routine y'all saw, it's 10 days since then. 10, 11 days. My hair actually doesn't even look that bad right now, but I am just over wearing my hair. Been wearing it out for a month. Been doing a lot of content with my hair to promote my business and the relaunch of that. And I just need a break. <laughs> so we are about to go ahead and wash this. This is actually um mini twists, which is why it's still so defined. I did some mini twists, which y'all saw in the last wash day routine. And I took those out, I wanna say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Is it like four days ago i took them out four days ago so so today we're really gonna focus on detangling my hair because usually when i wash my hair it's not as defined as this so it's a lot easier to like detangle but because it is super defined we might have a little struggle might be on the struggle bus but we, we gonna figure it out and also got my apple watch today because i'm filming with my phone too because i was like why not get some clips since i'm not gonna be washing my hair probably till november so Let's get into it. Also, I have a super cute protective style in mind. I'm just gonna save it for the end of the video because I feel like I'm gonna like it. Hopefully y'all like it too. Hopefully it turns out well, so I don't have to redo it. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn my water on. Y'all know, actually I bought a new shower head because I know some people really like this one, but the actual shower, you know, head the rain shower head is like what 11 inches wide and it's just too big so the water pressure isn't great and so and it doesn't come out all the way it's like halfway the water comes out of it so it's just really weird so i bought a smaller one um i think i'm gonna like it hopefully i like it too but this is the last time we'll be using this one we're just gonna go ahead and just wet my hair so oops, let me like switch this around a little bit I'm trying to figure out how to okay let's just start wetting my hair Using my Apple Watch to make sure ooh, they can see me. Oh, you know what would be fun? Um, because, you know, I'm like talking for YouTube, but I'm not talking for Instagram or TikTok. So, like, if I did like a bloopers for Instagram and TikTok based on the clips that I filmed of me talking, since I am like recording right now, I think that would be fun. My hair looks so nice. I'm kind of mad that I'm washing it, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Look at how pretty that looks, though. This might be a dumb decision, Loki. It's okay, though. Is my mic on? Yeah, my mic's on. I was scared. I was like, did I not attach my mic? The worst thing is when, like, I'm all ready to film and I've started with, wa especially wash days, and I realize I forgot something and I have to get out the shower and I'm all wet and everything, so that sucks. Let's turn around and see if we can get a good shot. Doesn't my hair look great though? I'm gonna get some really good b-roll for this uh, video because um, my hair is still super defined from those twists. So it's gonna, it looks really good with, like really good. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm a, I, I just, I have a feeling it looks good. Make sure my camera's not fogged up. 
No, it's okay. The water was kind of hot. I'm trying to see. If it's fogged up, I'm fighting. No, it, it seems like it's okay. Also, before I do wash day routines, I like to make sure that I turn my apartment, like, the air up really, really hot so I can get really, really hot. That way, whenever, you know, I have to keep turning the water on and off and it get really cold, it's not as bad. But if I start doing this while I'm already freezing, yeah, we're not making it. So, just parting my hair. Y'all know the drill. Get the front section. I feel like my hair just naturally parts in the sections that uh, it's supposed to go now. So... I low-key, just with like trial and- my hair is still so moisturized. Oh, my hair butter. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Yeah, that's, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all my game plan for detangling this hair because- uh, Come apart. Yeah, y'all hear that? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright. I have th these two detangling brushes. Um. And remember I did the review on them. I feel like I'm going to use this one to detangle this time. Because it's harder. And I feel like it will do a better job of getting these super defined parts like spread apart. And removing that shed hair. So we're going to try it. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. So I'm going to take a crap ton of conditioner. Just really lather my hair in that. Roots to ends. Not playing no games. <laughs> okay. Y'all were telling me in my review video to use this vertically i did try to use it vertically i did try to use it vertically on some sections but i just it wasn't i don't know but yeah but it's actually not doing a bad job i thought this was gonna be worse i feel like i made the right decision with this brush so but yeah y'all see that and then also i did mini twists on wet hair and y'all know when my hair is not stretched Way more tangles, way more single strand knots, all that. So I'm not surprised at what's happening. So it's 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 on me, honestly. These I only had the mini twist in for like a week, and I took them out like four days ago. So if I would have like worn them out for like another week or two, they would have frizzed up way more, and this would have been easier. But I'm over my hair. So but okay, we're good. That wasn't that took a little bit longer than normal, but that wasn't bad. But this is an easy section because it's at the bottom where my hair is looser. So hopefully that'll be okay. But okay. So I'm gonna turn y'all off for a second and I'm gonna do um the next section for you know my with my phone and I'm gonna tell y'all how it's going. But it, it don't feel like it's gonna be that bad. I think that's the right brush to use. Sometimes I make smart decisions. Other times not so much. Okay, y'all. I think I figured out the strategy. So I did the second section a little bit different, so I'm going to show y'all. But yeah, this is, this is, I was not looking forward to this. Okay, so this is the hardest section to detangle, so. And I'm going to take the Felicia Leatherwood brush and just start working at the bottom. And then slowly work my way up to like halfway. Oh my goodness, okay. Start slowly work up then i'm just gonna take the section and split it into smaller sections so i can get to the top without issues see i'm getting at the roots up there and then we're gonna just work those out because yeah i have to go in smaller sections y'all oh my goodness do y'all see that <laughs> when you gotta use your fingers and the brush you know and this is why I hate this. I forgot why I hated this style so much. And now I remember. <laughs> also, I did something dumb. When I did the mini twist, I started the twist off with a braid at the top and then just twisted all the way down. Never doing that again. It made it so much more difficult to take these out. Like, it's kind of crazy. I got so many knots and stuff. So, okay. So, split it into another piece. I told y'all the roots is where my hair tangles the most. So, Okay, and then the little, this little last section. I told y'all in that video, this brush is hard to grip, so my hand's like screaming. Okay, so then, once all the sections are detangled, I'm going to take the easy brush, and I'm just going to go through it one more time to make sure it's fully detangled. Yeah, see? So that took about three times as long as it normally does to detangle a section, but 
Look at that. Done. Okay, so we had to be creative with detangling. But as long as I get them roots, for sure. My hands hurt though. Not gonna lie, that Felicia Leatherwood don't play. Gripping that hard plastic like that, it's not fun. All right, next section for TikTok and Instagram. Then I'll come back with the middle section of the back. After this section, my hand is screaming. Oh my goodness. I'm telling y'all, doing mini twists makes you have like these super small defined sections that are just very difficult to detangle. Um, I just think this style isn't for me. Maybe if I did it on blow dried hair, it wouldn't be that bad. But the only thing is, well, I guess it's not a problem. When I did the mini twist, I thought that they would have more volume if I did it on wet hair. And they looked like they were going to when I was installing them. But then, once I let them dry, they were all boneless and, and flat. And it just looked like I didn't have hair. So, I feel like maybe blow dried hair wouldn't hurt anything. Oh, wait. There's a knot somewhere. I feel it. It's right here. Oh, my goodness. This is why I do not wear my hair out. It's like right here. I'm trying to gently pull it apart. But yeah, see, I don't know if y'all see that. You know, you really suck. Like, this is why you're getting put in protective style. And this is why I don't care when people are like, oh, you never wear your hair out. Why don't you wear your hair out? I'll be trying to use it vertical. I don't like it vertical. It makes it harder to grab. See, it, it detangles towards the ends, but when you get to them roots and you start pulling those knots down, it's like right here, that's when you find trouble. So then, take our easy brush and just go through it again, make sure the whole section is detangled. Alright, one more section in the back and then the front, which should be a little bit easier. This side will definitely be the easiest, but the left front. My, my fingers right now, cramp city. Cramp city chick, cramp, cramp city chick, cramp city. I know, I'm a Christian. That don't mean I don't know secular songs. I don't listen to them, but like that. But some, sometimes I be slipping. Don't slip though, but you all about transparency over here. All right, I'm gonna do this section with y'all. Like I said in the last vlog, I usually just typically get me detangling four sections for TikTok and Instagram. Cause the, the videos are typically less than a minute, if not a minute, so I don't need that much footage. And like if I film like a three minute clip, I'll probably take 10 seconds of that, right? And so you don't need a lot. Off the bat, I'm just, I'm just gonna split this off. Like I just know off the bat, we're not even gonna play ourselves. But look how pretty, oh, I dropped my clip. <laughs> look how pretty that is. Okay, the bottom's pretty much detangled. So let's split it in two and get those roots. If I could leave the roots alone, I would. But that literally would break your hair off, so. Get all the way to the root and start working those tangles out up there. Pulling them to the bottom. I can't remember the last time I did my hair in this many sections. It's funny. I'm laughing through my pain. My scalp is like screaming right now. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> Okay, front, almost done, almost done. So then, let's take our easy brush, go in. Okay, I missed a knot somewhere, but I think I got it. I couldn't get a grip on it, okay. There we go, done. Ooh, my baby's struggling, she done snapped off. You know they say if you have tighter hair, put the bar on the bottom row. And if you have looser hair, put it on the top row. I'm going to start the front and then I'll come back. Three more sections and I'm free. And I won't have to detangle for at least four weeks. My shower curtain up away. This one's going to be easy because this one's a smaller section. So I'm just concerned about back here. Did I speak too soon? Yeah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay. Just got to take your time. And slowly work through it. Try not to make ugly faces, but it's my roots. That's where all these tangles are at. Okay. Let's get this front section. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay. Let's 
go in with this bad boy. Aesthetics. Two more sections. The left. I saved the easiest one for last. So uh, this should not be that bad. The left. I told y'all last time. The left side of my head does not define as well as the right side. It tends to be a little bit more frizzier, which means that it should be easier to detangle. So one time I'm happy that that side lacks definition. Now don't embarrass me. I already told them that you were gonna be easy. Lots of conditioner, cause we need it today. Okay. Ooh, I promise if you embarrass me, we fighting. Okay, let's go. Okay. Off to a good, off to a good start. Okay. All right now, chill out. Let's go for this back section first. Okay, she doing okay. Y'all, I promise I'm not ripping my hair out. I know it sounds like it, but I'm really not. So you like to play games, I got it. I will say though, this is a lot easier than if I had to use like a um, finger detangling or a wide tooth comb because I've done that before. Detangled many. I actually have a video called how to how to detangle type four hair, and I had the same situation today where I did mini twists, but I had finger detangles so aesthetics. All right, the left was okay. She cut up a little bit, but but I'm a, I'm gonna let her go for the most part. I feel like this is a boy actually. So he cut up a little bit. The right is a girl, the left is a boy. Cause girls are usually more mature, and so they usually, you know, better. But they, you know, they kind of got their own stuff. But boys, they kind of a little bit free balling and stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish this section for TikTok and Instagram, and then we gonna move on. Hard part is done. Okay, all done. Oh, I'm nervous to see this shit here. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is a lot. This is breakage. I'm telling you that right now. But that's okay, because we're going to protect the style for the next couple weeks. And I learned my lesson. Mini twists are not a protective style for me, at least not on wet hair. It's just not a good look. So, that's really not that bad. But I've only, I washed my hair 10 days ago. This is usually what I would get after about double that. So, uh, let me rinse it off. Let me see if that will make it better. Cause it looks like a lot to me. So I know it looks like a lot to y'all. Yeah, okay, that looks better. This looks better. But that's still, that's still, yeah. I should have gotten half of that with how quickly I washed my hair this time, only 10 days. So yeah, that should have been half. But the so not breakage, ugh, but it's okay. <sighs> I'm just mad because I really set myself up with that hairstyle, but it's okay. Not every single hairstyle is for everybody. I'm gonna rinse this conditioner out. I put a lot in my hair, so. And low key, I'm not a huge co washer, but this will be one of the times where I would have co washed because, you know, it hadn't been that long. But since I know I'm not gonna wash my hair for a while, start on as clean of a slate as I can, so we're gonna shampoo. So we're gonna use this um, Isha Curls shampoo. Honestly, shampoo is shampoo. I don't really have a huge favorite. No, my OGX tea tree and peppermint shampoo is my favorite just because I love how it makes my scalp feel. Which y'all be coming for me for it, so we just gone. Um, I actually didn't put anything on my scalp this whole time, so there's nothing for me to like remove as far as product buildup or anything. Huh. Never fails. Never fails. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's good enough. Like, we don't really need a good, like, do an extra cleanse. Make sure my twists are cleansed. Let's hurry up and finish this. I'm, I'm sick of my, I'm sick of this. I miss sick of this. I miss If you know where that is, comment below. I want to know if y'all can guess where that's from. I miss sick of this. I miss sick of this. Got conditioner on my eyebrows. You know, usually I wash my hair at night, but it's like 10 o'clock right now. Or maybe like 11. No, it's probably like 11.15. I started at 10.30. Because 
Because I usually wait till I need to take a shower to wash my hair. But I'm actually going to work out after this. I just need to go ahead and film this. And then, so today's Thursday. So I'm washing my hair today. Friday, I am going to blow dry my hair. I might blow dry tonight. But if not, I'm going to blow dry my hair tomorrow. Definitely going to part my hair for my style tomorrow. And then Saturday, I'm actually going to do the protective style. So... This is a whole weekend thing, people. It's just like, for the past month, every single weekend I've been doing something to my hair. And I don't like it because I work all during the week. So on the weekend, I don't want to do anything like that. But this will be the last one for a while. I feel like I just got shampoo in my eye. Hold on. It burns! I forgot to bring a towel. Now let's go ahead and deep condition. So I'm going to turn this off. Even though I'm cold. Let's just finish this. Let's finish this. So, we're going to use the same deep conditioner that was in my last video. So, if y'all know, I already applied the oil from my hair care line into this last time I did it. I made a whole mixture. Just put a bunch of deep conditioners in there that I had left over. And this is the most I've done my hair in, I would say, at least a year or so. So, it's just a lot. But my hair is not used to it, and I don't want my hair to get used to it because I loved how easily my hair grew whenever I protective styled. So, I like protective styling. But I also like giving y'all hair content, so it's kind of difficult sometimes to be like, okay. Like, sometimes I just want to do my hair and just not film. I don't want to have to, like, worry about setting stuff up, the right lighting, just add so much extra time to it. Natural hair is already a lot. But at the same time, I love when I post hair videos and they do really, really well. And y'all just be like, thank you so much. Like, I get messages of, like, people saying, you've helped me so much with my hair. Ever since I started using your tips, my hair has grown so much. And I'm just like, oh, thank you. It makes all the struggle and the stress working. My only issue with this deep conditioner is it's definitely not as thick as my fave. Um, but I totally forgot to buy deep conditioner. I tell y'all, I'm not used to washing my hair this often, so I don't really be thinking about restocking on products like this. I run out of deep conditioner like maybe once a year. <laughs> no, I may have to buy deep conditioner twice a year. May. But definitely once, but sometimes twice. I never run out of shampoo. <laughs> like, because you just don't use enough of it to run out like that. So, and I have like five different shampoos and I rotate between them. So, I'd probably be good on shampoo till like 2027 at this point. What else? Deep conditioner? Yeah. Conditioner? I use a lot. So, I may buy deep conditioner like three or four times a year. Um, what else? I don't use like styling products like that. So, I never really run out of gel. I <laughs> never really run out of a uh, like curling creams or anything like that. So we're almost out, so we gotta dip it in there. That's perfect. That was just a random amount. So now I don't think I have any more deep conditioners. At least ones that are made for my hair. I have PR ones that are not made for my hair, but make sure all that product's thoroughly distributed. Get a good back view of the hair with the deep conditioner. That's really aesthetic. I hate whenever I think that I got the right angle for like when I turn my back to show my hair and it's like half my head be out of the camera. I hate that. Y'all are easy because I just turn straight back, you know? And the camera's really wide, so even if I'm a little bit over, all of my hair still gets in it. Knowing me, I most likely, like I said, I might blow dry my hair today, but I won't have any time to do my hair until like probably like 9 o'clock tonight. I have a busy day. So, I might just do it tomorrow. Which means I'm just going to wear my hair like this in this bun and deep condition overnight. Oh my goodness, I know. Blasphemy. She's leaving deep conditioner in her hair. The flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> I saw this video of TikTok. Uh, this girl was like, if you have a friend that doesn't speak TikTok, and she was saying all the TikTok sounds, and it was so awkward. Because you really be sounding crazy. If you're talking to someone that doesn't have a TikTok, you really be sounding crazy. Like, it makes so much sense if you have TikTok, what people are talking about. But I'm like, it's a chicken salad. And they're like, oh, uh, okay. I'm already weird enough. I did it kind of tight because I'm going to be wearing it. I don't want my hair to be out, especially my ends. But, um, yeah, this looks good enough. Oh, no, I don't like this. Redo. Redo. It's too low. If I was just going to leave it in there for, like, an hour or so, that'd be fine. But I can't have that too low because that's going to mess me up. And I got to make sure my hair is actually flat. I'm gonna be wearing it out. I might do a headband, but we'll see. Okay, that's better. I'm like gonna stuff my ends in there and wrap them around. Okay, that's better. Yeah, okay, this is better. A lot better. 
that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. All right, guys. So I most likely will see y'all tomorrow, probably. I might do it tomorrow morning. Go ahead and blow dry my hair and then maybe part it later that night. Um, but I will see y'all then. So yeah, this wash day sucked, but we're done. So we're good. All right, you guys. It is when I wash my hair. It's Friday, so it's been two days since I washed my hair. Uh, <laughs> or no, did I wash my hair on Thursday? What did I do? Yes, I washed my hair on Thursday. Wednesday, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I washed my hair on Thursday, so it's been a day. So it's 5.30 on Friday. I need to get it together because today my goal is to blow dry my hair and then part it for my um, surprise hairstyle, which I probably saw at the beginning of this video if you didn't. I might put it in the beginning. I don't know yet. So I'm just setting up my whole um, filming little area by my bathroom. The lighting right here now looks really good. Like my skin looks great. I just took a shower, so. And I rinsed out my deep conditioner while I was in the shower. So I kept it in for um, the whole day yesterday and then up until today. Last for me, I know. I know. Clown me in the comments for doing what works for me. <laughs> okay, but anyways, my filming setup is so ghetto, bro. I need something professional, but it's just like, I feel like maybe because I've just been filming more often that I feel like I need to like upgrade my equipment, but in reality, I won't film hair stuff for another couple weeks. Ooh, my hair feels soft. This is why I literally laugh at people that question my shrinkage because let's be real. Let's be real. I don't know how long my hair is and the fact that it shrinks up all the way like above my shoulders. <sighs> this is why she get put up because she knows how she acts. All right, so most important stuff of any wash day my hair feels so good though, is to hydrate my hair. So that's what we're about to do. So I'm gonna split my hair into the same sections that I used um, for wash day and we are just going to hydrate my hair really quick. I like to hydrate all my sections first and then start with whatever styling I'm doing. It just makes it easier. The same way, like for example, if I was doing a twist out, I'd probably put like a couple products in my hair. So I most likely would put like everything in my hair, like in each section before I started twisting. That way I can just party section, add the last product, which is probably like a custard or like twisting cream or something. So you see what I'm saying? So I put all, most of my products in my hair first and then go in and twist my hair. Because um, if you just like take each section and apply like five products to each section, it just takes a lot longer. So that's what we, I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Did I do three sections in the back? Yeah, I want a really good blow dry because I need to. We'll do three sections in the back. It won't hurt nothing. I don't know why I'm twisting these. I literally need to just pin them up. That's a section. Split this one in half. Ooh, my hair. I'm so glad I got that detangling out the way. That was the hardest part of this entire wash day and it's done and I feel great. So this belongs up here. <laughs> my hair smells really good too. I think that deep conditioning combo that I did worked pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna leave this one out. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Y'all, I'm losing weight. Oh my goodness. I have lost, since moving down here, I've lost about seven pounds, which might not seem like a lot, but for me, that's a lot of weight. Um, Cause it took me a whole year to get 15 pounds off. So the fact that in the last like three months, I've been able to get off seven pounds, I think that's really good. I did a two week juice cleanse, well 12 days. I drank nothing but like fresh pressed um, fruits and vegetables. It was terrible, but I lost a lot of weight that way. And then that was like maybe a month and a half ago. So like for the past month, I have been working out consistently, changing my diet. And I'm really happy because I'm starting to finally see results. When it comes to losing weight, for me, the hardest part is just like being disciplined enough to just keep going with it at the beginning until I start seeing results. Once I start seeing results, it's no problem for me to keep going because, you know, I'm motivated, right? But like those first couple weeks when you're not really seeing results, but you still gotta like be disciplined, that's where it gets kind of difficult. So we're gonna go in with, ooh, don't fall. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> we're gonna go in with my hydrating hair butter. We literally have 4,000 of these um, at the beginning of September. It's currently like almost October and we're over halfway 
with like done with the inventory. I literally had to order 8,000 more, but that won't be ready for a couple weeks. That's kind of crazy because I thought that was going to last me for the rest of the year. But because before when I was making my own hair products, um, I would sell about, you know, a couple hundred a month. And now that I'm thinking back, I'm like, I probably could have sold more, but because I could make more than a couple hundred a month, that was probably why I was selling more. So I guess it's not all that shocking that now that I don't have to make my products, that I can sell like thousands at a time, which is crazy. So hopefully this new order of inventory, I really wanted to like last me through Black Friday because my business really started growing last year during Black Friday. If y'all watch on my vlogmas um, last year, I'm not sure if I'm going to do vlogmas this year, but if y'all watched my vlogmas last year, I literally, that was the most orders I ever received ever. I made, the amount of money I made was the same as like a month, just in a couple of days. So, and then my business started to like really, really grow from that point on. So, like what I did during Black Friday, now that's my typical two weeks, which is a blessing. But you see what I'm saying? Okay, and people ask me, um all the time how to use the hair butter so I mean people think I'm lying about how much I use really that's all I use per section I know we like dime size them out like no one does that but really you don't need more than that <laughs> but you just take it and you just thoroughly work it in and with this um, hair butter you don't need a leave-in conditioner um, so my old hair butters you did especially the original because it didn't have any water in it it wasn't one of the ingredients so it couldn't like hydrate your hair, there's no water in it. So you'd have to use a leave-in conditioner first and then use the hair butter to lock in the moisture. But with this one, it's like a two-in-one. You could use a leave-in, like it doesn't hurt, that's extra moisture, but I tried this for the first time. But like a couple months ago, cause you know, I've been using these products all year, even though they've just been available. A couple months ago, I tried it <laughs> just by itself. I, I put it in my hair and I did a sew-in. And I was like, oh, is it going to work? I don't know. And so I put it in my hair. And then a month later, I wonder if I have the video, I'll show it. A month later, I took out my sewing that I had and my hair felt so good. So I was like, oh, we don't have to use a leave in with this. So yeah. So just like um, during my actual wash day, I am switching between my camera and my phone for each section. Just kind of alternating between them. This is what's been working for me for the last year or so. It's just... Doing your hair as a natural is already a lot. And so trying to film not only for, you know, TikTok or whatever, but for three different social media platforms, it's a lot. I honestly was so close to um not filming this wash day. Cause this is my third time washing my hair in like a month. And I just it's just been a lot. And so I was like, you know what, what if I just don't film it this time? That way I can go ahead and get out the way because this protective style is going to take a minute to do. So what if I just, but thinking, I was like, you know what, not having hair content for a couple of weeks means that I need to film this so I can have stuff to rely on. Because my um, wash shape before this one, I'm still using content for that. No, the wash shape before my last one, I'm still using clips of on my social media. So, and that was like three weeks ago. So, a wash shape, wash shape footage will last me about three weeks. Um, maybe more if I get creative. Because you can just use it in so many different ways. Like, for example, okay. Uh, one video idea I always do with my wash shape routines is a wash shape ASMR. I can also take that same footage that I like edit for a watch that ASMR and I can post it on TikTok and I can put a voiceover or something like three things that I do to my natural hair that people don't like or you know blase 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 whatever right so there's just a lot of ways to use it I can also take that wash day footage and just cut and edit the, the detangling part and be like how to detangle type four hair with tips I can do how to deep condition with tips I can do the proper way to cleanse um I can use the clips that I showed y'all like the b-roll of me just like wetting my hair that could be I could post like seven seconds of that on Instagram and then put like a bunch of text on the screen like one time I did that and I was like maturity is realizing that hair growth doesn't come from a miracle product but from a consistent routine something like that so there's just a lot of different ways you can use it. Um, you can use the same video but put a different voiceover and it's a completely new video. You can take the same video, edit out certain parts, add a couple of extra clips depending on what you want to say. So there's just a lot of things you can do with the same 
footage if I'm telling you so. And I, the reason I know that is because I had to get creative because when I first got on this platform, I was not washing my hair all the time. So, and I wasn't like trying to do that. So I kind of had to figure out how to be able to not wash my hair for a month, but still have enough natural hair content to satisfy, you know, my audience. And so I got creative. <laughs> And another good thing is y'all don't like hairstyle videos, so that's no pressure for me to like keep my hair out so I can constantly do like different hairstyles. Y'all don't like that. <laughs> Unless it's like a like a trending hairstyle, like that's pretty much it. And also I do hairstyle videos with my protective styles. So there you go. So there's just a lot of different things you can do with um, footage. So, like, cause you know, I'm no use to y'all if I'm doing my natural hair so much trying to get content that it breaks off. Cause y'all ain't gonna follow me no more. <laughs> so I'm like, and that honestly goes against what I've been saying about low manipulation. That's why, you know, this month I, I took the time to make a lot of content for my business and just my platforms in general. And I have tons of content. Like it will definitely last me at least a month, probably like six weeks. So now I can put my hair up. And then also what I started doing is like when I would take out a protective style and have my natural hair out, I would wear it for like a week or two just, just doing different styles and different content um, before I washed it so, to give me extra videos. So for example, um, I did a wash and go on my old hair as a video. I did the hair wax on my old hair as a video. I've done um, the out. I tried different creep poos. That's a great thing. I love whenever I wash my hair doing different challenges to create more videos. So um, if I was around during that 100 pumps thing, I would have done 100 pumps of conditioner for my wash day. So like there's just a lot of stuff. It is like you have to, I just, every single time I see a natural hair video, I just make sure to write it down and then like try to tie it into my wash day routine. That way I can film as many videos as I need to within that time period. So I can, you know, be good. All right, these two sections are for um, the phone. Okay, I have three minutes left on my camera before the SD card runs out of space. So hopefully we can do that this section in time, which we should. I love this stuff. I'm just so proud. I worked really hard on this product. Like if y'all understood the stress and the nights and the days because like yeah i worked with the professional manufacturer but i was in charge of everything regarding how this product was made how it was labeled the look the containers everything so i'm just really proud of myself because this was a huge risk like going from making products um on my own in a uh in my kitchen to investing literally tens of thousands of dollars into these new products these new packaging like everything it's just nice and i honestly love not having to make the products and not having to package the orders because it just gives me so much more time to focus on um other things for my business for example advertising right i'm so much better i feel like just in the past couple weeks with advertising my business because i just have more time to spend really sitting down and planning content and looking at social media to see what works same thing as an influencer like i just have way more time I also have time to, you know, go to events and just do more marketing for myself. It's just nice. Okay, let me change this SD card because it's going to run out of space. And then we're going to blow dry. Okay, I'm back with a new SD card and my glasses are off because I don't know why they're off. Um, But we're about to blow dry so y'all know. Going in with my Dyson Supersonic. So I'm really excited to blow dry today because... For the past couple months, I have been doing the tension method with this blow dryer, so a paddle brush and like the nozzle because I lost the comb attachment. And though I love the tension method because it does a great job of just giving me a very straight like blowout, it just takes forever. So I bought me a replacement on Amazon. Hopefully it works. I feel like it will. This I don't think this is made by Dyson, but it's by a company that makes the attachments for Dyson. But like I said, it doesn't get my engine straight, so I also bought this right here. I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but it's like a little brush. Ooh. So I feel like I might go in just blow dry my hair with the comb attachment first and then go back in and really get my roots and my ends with this and see how this works. I'm also testing this out because y'all know silk press season is almost upon us and so I'm trying to figure out the best way to blow dry my hair. I'm redeeming myself from last year y'all. Go watch that video if you haven't seen it. I've been looking up products. I've been saving so much stuff on uh, social media and we are gonna get a great silk press this season. I don't care. I'm gonna be like Kamala. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
let me pin all my twists out the way i don't know these vlogs might not be a good idea y'all get too much of my personality and that might turn some of y'all off so apologies in advance i'll be extra and see because i already moisturized my hair i don't have to worry about adding the product each time it's already in there okay look how good my hair looks beautiful hopefully this um isn't too yellow because my last videos like when i filmed in here were really yellow i look kind of yellow but I, I feel like it still looks okay so we'll see i might turn it down like make it cooler but okay so let's go ahead and blow dry slip that on Ooh, i missed this it's so easy Oh, let me turn this so I can see better. Look at that. It's almost done. It got caught somewhere. Okay. Almost done. Okay, that took less than a minute. This, that's why I love this comb attachment. The, the tension method would have probably taken me like a couple minutes per section. But as you can see, my ends, they, they still puffy. So... I'm going, we're going to change the attachment, going with a little brush, and we'll see how this works. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Not bad. Okay, definitely you can't go in with that first because it's not, it's it's not, it's gonna know. So I think going in with the comb and then the brush is great, but it made my ends a lot straighter. So I'm happy. It still doesn't give you as like smooth of a blowout as um what's it called? The tension method, but I'm not mad at it, honestly. I don't need my hair to be super straight anyway, it's going in a protective style. I just like to make sure it's stretched. So it's easier to work with, as y'all saw from our detangling fiasco. That's done. It's been, what, a minute? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So I'm a, I'm a happy girl. This I'll be done with this in 20 minutes, period. And then we can go ahead and start on my protective style. I know it's going to be worth it, though. And I did a trim last time, so my end's looking nice and right. <laughs> Period. All right, this brush attachment just popped off on the second section. Um, it still did it like super quick. I think when I, I just recorded it for with my phone, I think it was like two minutes for the whole footage. So I don't know. This light. Okay. I wonder if I turn the brightness up. Would that look better? Okay, that's a little better. Let's go in with our comb attachment. Okay. Looking good. That dries my hair is so fast. Wow. Hot, hot, hot. Let's change it. I just wish there was a way to like lock this in place so it wouldn't turn as easily. This is this right here, this part is fine, but like this part, that's what's bothering me. See, it like it's turning. No. Good idea, poor execution. We just gonna we just gonna ignore it. Alright, let me go back with the comb and just finish it out. It like tangled my hair back up a little bit because it just kept moving. So I don't know if this Dyson um blow dryer has like a round brush attachment. I might have to look at that because that, that would make give me like a really good silk press. Because, again, like, these ends. Or maybe, you know, if I do a silk press, I'll just do the comb attachment and then go in with the paddle brush with the nozzle attachment to, like, really get my ends straight and my roots. I might just do that. That probably is a better idea. Hmm. I'm hungry. I just ate too. Okay. Next section. We don't need this. So that whole back section is done in, like, five minutes. It's gonna go even faster because I'm not gonna be switching out the attachments because uh, I really wish that would have worked though. 
If it would have stayed still and not kept rotating, it would have worked. It's like wrapping around my ears, my earrings. Okay. This one was a little bit wetter. This section was still a little bit wet than the others. I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna go down. See, like this one, you can turn it, but it's very difficult for you for like the attachment to turn while it's blow drying your hair. I have to physically use my hand and turn it. That's what I wanted from this. Hate you. Wasting my money. I just can't stand that. But you know what? I hate when I order something online and it's not what I expect. But I don't blame the company because at the end of the day. If I want something to be exactly the way that I think it is when I buy it, I have to buy it in person. That's just the risk of ordering online. I'm saying that based on my experience as a business owner and certain customers. Oh, I have a story time for y'all. I don't know if I got scammed. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss. We need to discuss this. Hold on. Let me do this section and I'll, I'm, we're going to come back and discuss this. Okay. Basically, here's the tea. Okay. Here's what happened. So, TikTok Shop is such a confusing platform for a seller. Oh my goodness, it's awful. <laughs> um, so, it's been a huge learning curve. Basically, the stuff that I don't tolerate with, like, petty customers that happens with my online store, I have to tolerate it on my TikTok Shop a little bit more because their policies are just, it's just very weird. So, basically, maybe I shouldn't tell this while I'm blow drying. Okay, I'm not going to tell this when I blow dry. Yeah, that wasn't smart. That's not smart. Because I don't want to have to yell at y'all. Okay, I'll just tell y'all during the next part of this uh, wash day or wash week, whatever you want to call it. Because I didn't think about telling y'all that while I was blow drying. Because I'm going to have to yell. Mm -mm. It's not going to work. Well, we almost done. We got the front. And then we can move on. Oh, my goodness. I'll be doing my hair for 10 minutes. Maybe 15. And I'm already, like, over it. Let's do this bottom section for y'all and then this section and the bottom of this section will be for social media this is a big section too i should have i did not divide this evenly it's okay it's nothing my dyson can't handle look how much see this is why we did this is why i want to take my time to tangle my hair during my wash day routine because this process is a lot easier. I don't have any little tangles in there. It's just gliding right through. Okay. Then just doing that. I'm like pressing my edges flat and then blow drying it. So it stretches them a little bit. But honestly it doesn't matter because I don't have, I have toddler hairs. I don't have baby hairs. So. Them little peppercorns be getting on my nerves. I saw some girl say that before. She's like, I got, she's like, I don't have no loose edges. I have peppercorns. And uh, actually, she, I'm going to put the name of the edge control. Actually, I have it. Hold on. Promoting a black-owned business. Y'all go check her out on um, TikTok shop. It's from Basque and Leather. This edge control, baby. She wasn't lying when she said they turned her peppercorns. Because they, they sure, that's a, it's a really good edge control. It's not greasy. It don't turn white. It's not flaky. I really like it. It has a very, like, it's red. I don't know why it looks like it's on camera, but it's, it's red. The consistency is like shiny jam. Like that thick, you know, consistency. Like, a, kind of like a braiding jam. But it's, it's not greasy. It's a really good edge control. So, check them out on TikTok shop. Okay, I also forgot to mention that I'm going on medium heat high airflow. I love this blow dryer so much. It just makes blow drying your hair so easy and fast. I get it's four hundred fifty dollars, but I told y'all I ain't paying for that. <laughs> a wig company sent me that as PR. They might have exploited the crap out of me and did underpaid me and everything, but they ate with that. They ate. They really said we just want to send you something just to show you how much we appreciate you. And I'm thinking, oh, okay. I ain't realize that they were sending me. A four hundred and fifty dollar blow dryer, and the crazy thing is that this costs more than what they ever paid me for a collab. Sad enough. So one last section. Get them roots. Literally, it's dry. It's done. That's crazy. That fast. If you don't blow dry your hair like that, 
it's not that deep. But if you're someone that is constantly blow drying your hair, you might want to invest. I mean, y'all be investing in wigs that cost the same amount, so why not get you a blow dryer? I'm just saying. But then again, I ain't paid for it, so I can't speak. But I have spent five hundred dollars on something like clothes and stuff. But with my hair, cause I do it myself, I usually don't spend that much money on hair. My hairstyles usually cost like seventy five dollars at most, and that's usually just because of I happen to need extra braiding hair, even though I have a ton. So normally I don't. But I am thinking about um, after this protective style, we're going into wigs for the rest of the winter. So I am excited because I'm about to be trying to wear to go, like ready to wear glueless wigs that be maybe selling on Amazon. So I'm going to start doing those and reviewing those for y'all. I'm going to take a break and then we're going to keep going. <laughs> okay, so y'all probably figured this out already. We are doing passion twists. I'm super excited for the color. We're doing boho passion twists. I was literally in love with my boho braids. So I was like, <laughs> passion twists. And we're going to do like a cute honey blonde color. Y'all know I love color. So let's go ahead and take these out. I'm going to start my phone too. <laughs> Period. Look at that. It's all nice, soft, it's still flowy because the hair butter's not weighing it down, so we love. I'm like literally just switching back and forth between the camera and the phone at this point. Sometimes I'll be paying too much attention to the camera and I'm not realizing, oh, you're not in frame <laughs> with your phone, so. Okay. Front. Two more. And I just twist my hair just to keep it um out the way. Whenever I blow dry. See? Now y'all, it was looking like I didn't have a lot of hair when it was wet. But look at that. It's honestly ridiculous. Too much hair to know what to do with. Alright, let me turn around and get y'all a good thumbnail. Okay, can y'all, I have to get on my, my camera's too low. I gotta get on my tippy toes. Do one of those. One of these. And I'm over here really crying about the amount of like breakage that I got. And you can't even tell. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. So, next step. So, I have a video on this exact thing that I'm about to do. My parting video. That's exactly the way I'm about to part. Literally the same thing we're going to be doing the rubber band method. So, we're going to use these rubber bands that I got from Walmart. Nothing special. Okay. So, let me just break these apart. I'm going to show y'all how I uh, keep them from breaking my hair. Because I know some people hate the rubber band method. First of all... If when you take your when you take your hair down, if you are actually trying to undo the rubber bands, that's stupid. Sorry, cut them out, sis. We don't we don't. Anytime I use these rubber bands in my hair for anything, passion twist, protective style, just want to do a style, need to put it, cut it out. Okay, do not be trying to take these out. But look, this is how you, this is how you keep them from um, breaking your hair. Take the oil from my hair care line, okay, or any oil, and you just. Do a bit, bit, baby, bit, rub it in. And don't drop them. But there you go. And that will keep your hair from breaking. So I'm going to do the back off camera, but I'm going to come back when I get to the front so I can show y'all how I do it. So y'all see y'all in like two hours. <laughs> okay, guys, it's the next morning. So it's like 11 o'clock on a Saturday, maybe like 11.30. So I know I said I was going to come back and do a couple of like sections of parting on camera but <laughs> I didn't finish my hair till like 2 30 last night I started at like 8 30 I finished at like 2 30 in the morning so by the time you know got to the front of my head I was just ready to get it done but all of my hair is completely parted go to the back oh I'm trying not to make these too tight when you do the rubber band method it's kind of hard not to have them kind of a little bit tight when you first do them but oh this is the hair that i got i ordered this from amazon like a couple weeks back because i was going to do this style like a couple weeks ago but i decided to wear my hair out more but now it's time like so the sections are already pre-separated which i like i think i'm gonna use just one of these little curls for a twist and kind of see how that works maybe i'll use one and a half of them we'll just see how it works we'll just see we'll play it by ear so we're going to be using this and i also bought this human hair from amazon as well that's the same color it's a little bit lighter but i think i think it will pair well it looks a little more yellow on camera but it's not that yellow 
on here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the back. Like, I really wanted to start early, so that's why it's 11 o'clock right now. But I'm gonna do the back, and then once I get to the front, then I'll come back and we'll start doing them on camera. I just, the back is just, I have to, it's just a lot. So, I'm gonna do that, and then we are gonna come back. Okay, let's do the first one on camera so we can just test it out and see how it goes. I've already separated all the hair, so this hair is low-key a little bit long. It's okay. So I just took one of those little twists and I'm just separating the hair a little bit. Taking the crochet hook, cutting it through my head. Okay, and then taking this piece, sticking it on the little loop, closing it. Pulling the hair through, then just pulling one end, okay, make sure they're even, then take my hair, split it in half, and just kind of tighten it up. Then I'm going to take some, I'm using this lock-in twist gel, I think that's what it's called. I usually use shine gel, but I wanted to try something new, and I really like this one, I do. So, we're going to use this. And I'm just going to sp spread it all down the length of my hair to keep it from frizzing up in the twist. Okay. Then, I'm going to take the twist and I am going to just wrap it around the base of the twist a couple of times just to hide that rubber band. Okay, then I'm going to take my hair, split it in half, and we'll just start twisting. Just like this. Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, wait, crap. I forgot. I forgot I'm adding hair. So, take a piece of the hair, stick it in there. Um, just slip it over my shoulder, it's fine. Oh, okay. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Okay. Insert the hair. I need a clip. Take the piece. I'm just going to clip it behind me somewhere. Okay. There we go. And then we'll just start twisting this hair in. Just like that. Okay. Good, good, good. And I don't want the hair to be too long. Y'all see, I'm just adding more gel i don't want my ends to be sticking out so just making sure that's nice and in there okay then i'm gonna add the second piece like right here this piece is good add the second piece in here well i clip this one out the way Ooh. drop my clip okay clip it and then we'll just start twisting it in just like this and then just keep twisting Add a little bit more jam to the hair so it can twist super nice and easy all right these twists are like really long i don't know why i got hair this long i wasn't trying to have hair this long but it is what it is i'm literally like twisting all the way down to my butt it's gonna make this a lot longer than it needs to be. I be seeing, I see why they be charging um, an arm and a leg for like butt length braids. That's a long way to go. Cause my hair stopped about, my hair stops about right here. But I have to, to braid, I mean to twist all the way down here. My hands gonna be cramping. Like it's going longer than what my arms are. Okay, that's good, that's fine. Take some, a little bit of gel, just twist it so it, Flows. This is it. Here we go. Let's see how I like this. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I'm definitely not mad at it. Okay. I just think with the hair, I think I want to start putting the hair higher up. So like maybe the first piece right here and the second piece up here. Because these are already really long. So I only have two bundles of the human hair. So when I did my boho braids, I had four bundles in total of human hair. And I used three and a half. I did four on each braid in the back. And then I started doing five on each braid in the front. So because I only have two bundles this time, I'm going to do two per twist in the back. And then I'll do uh, a two per twist in the back and then three per twist in the front. And I feel like 
I will use basically maybe like almost both bundles. I just don't want to run out of hair. And I don't mind that these aren't super full, but I think this is perfect. Uh, I don't want the twist to be like really big, so I think that was a perfect amount of hair to use for the actual twist. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going, and then once I get to the front, we're gonna be good. It's just, this is gonna take a minute because these are really long. That's the only thing. But they're gonna be really cute. Okay, y'all, so it's currently 2.30. Um, I took like an hour break to eat, but so I've been working since 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. I would say about two hours I've actually been doing my hair, and it looks so good. It looks even, like this is exactly what I pictured when I wanted this hairstyle. It's going to look so good whenever I define all the curls. So I think I'm doing good time. Honestly, like once you part the hair, that's the hard part. Everything else is pretty easy. So basically, I am just taking one of these curls for this like smaller sections. And then this one looks pretty big. So I'm going to take one and a half um, pieces of the hair. And we're going to use that. And so all I'm doing is fluffing the hair out. See, I got a routine now. After doing a couple, now it's going by a lot faster. But you just got to get the hang of it. So I'm going to fluff this out. I already have half of one right here that I'm going to add to it as well. All right. Then what I learned is you want to go ahead and just put the gel all over the hair first. So I'm going to do that. Just spread it on there. This is a really big section. You know, I parted the best of my abilities. It, honestly, when it, it's not going to look, like, terrible or anything. It's just that I still haven't gotten the hang of, like, doing super even parts. But I've come a long way since I first started my hair. So, then we're going to split the section in half like that. Then I'm going to twist the hair so it's easier to put on the crochet hook. So, I'm going to stick it through, put on the hook. Close it, pull it through, and then just pull the hair through like that. Okay. Make sure it's even. Then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the top to cover. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Take the two hair pieces and pull them tight. Like, pull like that so it's nice and flat against my head. And then we're going to wrap to hide that rubber band same thing if you were just like doing faux locks how you would start off your hair which I'm never doing again because I'm not cutting my hair again and then you're gonna take one of those sections so two and two and then we're just gonna start twisting okay and then once I get like this far down I'm going to Ooh. take a piece of the human hair and I'm going to add them both in there and then twist a couple times and then I'm going to take the longer side of that hair out and separate it <laughs> and then we can let it go Make sure to add more gel to prevent frizzies. All right, then I'm going to add another piece. Just put it in there. Start twisting to really lock it in there. And then I'm going to take the piece out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, and then we just keep twisting all the way down. This is what takes the longest right here. So my hair is in there. So now I'm just twisting the braiding here. My actual hair stopped like right there. So we're gonna keep braiding. That's one of the things about lo having longer hair. I know some of y'all are probably gonna be like, I wish I had that problem, but I do find it kind of frustrating when doing protective styles, how my hair goes so long because it just makes it take longer for certain styles to do and also I can't do like short styles so for example those um a lot of girls are getting into like the super short passion twist I can't do super short passion twists they gotta be longer than my hair um for it to be an actual protective style so but yeah it's fine it's fine 
So I'm just going to keep twisting all the way down. I'm actually going to share this twist because this one's a lot longer on this side. So I'm just going to split this in half and start sharing it. And I add a little bit more jam to the ends. That way it can hold together better and it won't unravel on me. Mm -hmm. So I just keep twisting down till I get maybe like two inches above where the hair stops. It's just this hair is really long. It's curling up to a very nice length, but you know, stretched out is really long. I think this is what, like 24 inches, I wanna say. I was trying to do a shorter hairstyle, like for the last, I think the last time I did protective style, I was trying to do a shorter one, but I think we're just gonna stick with these. Okay, then once I get like this much left, I just take some more jam and I just kind of twist it like I would my own hair at the bottom of the twist, just like that. And then I make sure that the hair pieces are not wrapped around the twist. Make sure they're fully out. And we're done with another one. So really, this isn't taking too long. I'll definitely finish. What time is it? 2.30? I'll definitely finish by like 8 o'clock. Because um, I know I'm going to take a break to eat dinner. So I'll definitely finish around 8. 10 at the latest if I'm just being slow. But like, once everything's parted, it's very easy to do this style. Like, we're almost halfway through the back right now. So we're about... A fourth of the way through already and it's only really been like two hours but anyways let's get into this uh, story time of this customer that I have been like telling y'all so basically um, when I was saying when I was blow-drying TikTok shop is very confusing for sellers it's a lot different for sellers um, than like Shopify or something it's still very new so there's some stuff that just doesn't work but even though we give feedback, the people on TikTok shop don't listen. Um, you, it's easier to lose money on TikTok shop for stuff that isn't your fault um, that you wouldn't normally on Shopify and things. It's just it's just kind of a complicated platform. But, uh, but I mean, if you do it right, it's very profitable. So this means that people can leave reviews on our TikTok shop, but we can't do anything about it um, despite, you know, the situation not being what the customer said it was so I had this person who left us a bad review talking about um we never they never got their order so you know i look at all my reviews so i went and i checked and it said they still got delivered so emailed them was like hey you know we saw we we saw you left the review like no i lied this person had emailed us talking about she never got her stuff before she she put the review and so we told her, we would check their order, and we are like, oh, your stuff says it's delivered. Um, sometimes the carrier will say it's delivered before it actually gets there. So we suggest waiting, you know, 24 to 72 hours, make sure the address is correct, make sure that no one picked it up or anything like that. Basically, TikTok shop doesn't hold us responsible for orders once they're delivered. Because um, I also had a lady who was like, oh, there's issues with uh, people stealing my packages in my area, so give me a refund. I'm like... You ordered online knowing people were stealing packages. That's your fault if it gets stolen because you knew that risk. We were unaware of that. But apparently, we that's still our fault in some people's eyes. Like, I'm sorry, but how you order from an online store knowing that people are stealing packages in your neighborhood and they want to get mad at me because I'm not going to give you a refund for that? That's your responsibility, Bookie. That's just very weird to me. But anyways, so, you know, I'm uh, this customer, you know, I'm telling her, like, a couple days goes by, she's like, I still haven't gotten my order. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying my best to resolve the situation, but at the end of the day, it's saying it's delivered. And I've had many people who have said their items weren't delivered and they really got it and they just wanted to scam and get their money back. So I tell them to talk to the carrier if you have an issue. Because I can only go based on the tracking information. That's the only information I have, right? So after we are telling her, hey, your stuff is saying it's delivered. So we recommend talking to the carrier if you feel like you still haven't gotten your, your stuff. Check your post office. Like, so, you know, we didn't want her to leave a negative review because she's saying that the package never got delivered on her review, which makes it seem like we scanned her and she paid us and we just never sent her stuff. No, she, like people don't know that like her stuff was delivered. She's just saying she didn't get it, right? You wouldn't know that just by reading her review, which is why reviews sometimes can be frustrating because the customer is just being petty. Some people aren't, some people aren't. Some people are right to leave whatever review, but some people are just being petty because it was their fault and we didn't accommodate them because we couldn't. So we said, um, so we're not responsible for stolen items, but we don't want you leaving us a negative review for something that isn't our fault for our company. So it's your refund and we just ask that you please, you know, just remove the review. Because again, her issue with her order had nothing to do with us. 
So she said that's fine. So issue her the order on TikTok shop. Tell me why the same day she messaged you saying, oh, actually, I just got my package. It was delivered today. I have to learn to be more patient. Um, I bought from you because I want black owners to be to succeed. I feel really bad. Please let me know how to remove the review. I'm like, so I messaged her and I said, we already issued you the refund. But then, you know, being a good customer person, I was like, but I said, we're glad the issue was resolved, whatever. So just enjoy the product. Because basically, she got the product and she got her money back. Um, she was like, oh, no, I didn't mean to. I w I'm going to reject the refund, okay? Can you please show me how to remove the review? And basically, she was like, I'm going to wait till my daughter gets home to teach me. And we try to walk her through the steps. But it's just like, I find it interesting how you had no problem with technology when it came to leaving us a bad review over something that wasn't our fault. But all of a sudden, when you're in the wrong, oh, and all of a sudden, you don't know about technology. You can't update a review. Even though literally all you do is go to your order history and it will have a place where it says view the review that you wrote and you can click on it and edit it. So I'm like, I just find it interesting how all of a sudden, now that we're asking you to change your review because you were wrong to say what you said about us and you're hurting our company for no reason, oh, all of a sudden, uh, you don't know about technology and you got to get your daughter to help and can you call me and let me know how to remove it. I'm just like, people are so petty. So at this point, what I might do is I might just do a screen recording of how to do it even though it's not that difficult to do it and then if she just does it she does it she doesn't she doesn't i'm just gonna give it to god but it's just like oh my goodness this crochet hook is like stuck on okay <laughs> but to me it's just like i don't understand like i understand if you really did have a bad experience with us which is possible not everybody's gonna have a great experience you can't satisfy everybody sometimes we make mistakes it's been a learning curve, you know, having this new business, working with a packaging company. It's been a learning curve. And I appreciate customer feedback because it helps me know what to fix, right? And, yeah, it sucks to have people give us negative reviews, but it helps us be better, right? We take the feedback and we try to be better. And so I appreciate it. But I don't appreciate people being petty and being entitled because we are a small business. And trying stuff on us that they wouldn't try on larger companies and like hurting our company like why are you leaving a bad review because your your item was stolen due to your issue okay i have this lady she bought the product but then it shipped and it just said oh i actually didn't mean to buy it i just want to uh can i just cancel the order and we said we can't cancel the order unfortunately because it's already been shipped and so then she's like okay well um so she gets the order and she tries to return it but we don't receive the return package, and so we reject her refund because TikTok doesn't make us refund people if we don't get the return package because we never received it. And so she goes and puts a review talking about, um, I didn't want the order because it was a mistake and, you know, just saying all this stuff and making us look like we're in the wrong. And I'm just like, that's your fault. You ordered something and changed your mind, and then you're mad because the company can't accommodate you the way that you want. Don't order stuff if you don't want it. <laughs> that's my thing. But yeah, that is irk me. It's just like with TikTok shop and with my new business, it's just like I want everything to be perfect, right? I work really hard with my business. I love that God has blessed me with it. And I don't like when people play play around with it. Again, I love customer feedback, positive or negative reviews. I read all of them so it helps me to figure out what to do and how to be better. So I appreciate all of them. But I don't appreciate people being petty. Like you're playing with people's livelihoods and that's what I don't like. You messed up, just take your L and move on. Don't try to hurt somebody else. That's how I feel. If I order something by mistake, I'm not going to take it out on the company if they can't give me my money back or refund me the way that I want to. It's my fault. I ordered by mistake. Someone got mad because they accidentally ordered from us and it shipped before they can cancel it. And I'm like, that's your fault. <laughs> like, don't be ordering stuff or clicking stuff. I understand you made a mistake, but that, but you, that's, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mistakes have consequences. Yes, you might have mistakenly bought something, but you can't get mad at the company for doing our jobs. You place an order with us, we ship the order out. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to do. If you didn't want the product, you shouldn't have been doing that. That's all I'm saying. It's just like, and the thing is, it sucks. And I know I have to like work on, you know, not focusing so much on the negative stuff because I have so great customers. I have people who have been so supportive. I get so many great messages and it just makes me feel good. But it's just so frustrating just knowing how much work I put into my business for people just to play around with it like that. That's what really irks me. Like, people that don't take accountability for their mistakes. And I know a lot of business owners are going to be like, oh, it's not professional to talk about this. I'm just like, I'm being real. This is what happens when you run a business. The customer's not always right. 
yes, you should always be respectful. And I try my best to resolve situations as best as I can. And sometimes a customer isn't completely satisfied because it goes like what they're asking goes against our policy. Like, for example, again, you wanted me to refund you for an order that's already been shipped. I can't do that. <laughs> The order has already been shipped. You're going to receive the products. So therefore, I can't give you your money back and then you still get the product. You just got something for free. And it's a business. That can't happen. But I still am very grateful for all my um, customers because I do appreciate y'all. That's why I be doing giveaways, you know. I love giving y'all free stuff. That's why I like my ambassador program. Yeah, I want to work with influencers and stuff like that. But I want to give people also customers who just genuinely like my products and want to show support. I want to give them an opportunity to you know get something for free and also i mean it helps me because i get a video i did all that talking just to do one of these i don't know that crochet hook was just not going in my hair for some reason it was just like i don't know i put it in the wrong way i guess <sighs> all right i think i'm gonna come back i think okay i got something to do at six so it's 2 45 so i got like three hours before i have to stop and do something i might stop and do whatever i need to do at, at six and also eat dinner and then come back at like 7 30. i might go on live at 7 30 but i'm gonna try to get the back done before um i take a break so in three hours i want to get the rest of the back done which I feel like won't be a big deal. And again, I like this size. I'm not, I don't want, like the last time I did passion twists, they were kind of, they were like maybe twice the size as these. I want it to be very flat. I want them to be skinny. You know, I want to be able to easily put it in a ponytail and not too voluminous. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, it is currently 6.50. So I've been working on this hair for like five hours if I take out my breaks. And I'm still not done. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing to avoid crying. <laughs> um, so I just, I went ahead and ate dinner and took a shower and took a break at like 5.30. So we're back at it. I've done all the back though. Let me show y'all the back. The back, let me squat. <laughs> the back looks really good. Like this looks awesome. It looks really, really good. And I cannot, oh, I almost fell. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> once I put, like, the mousse, once I, like, trim the ends to make them even and put the mousse on it, it's going to look really nice. I, I The color looks terrible on the camera, but in person, it's, like, this nice honey blonde color. And I'm in love with it. So, it's it's 6.50. So, I really want to go to church tomorrow. Yeah, I told y'all, I would go to the 845 service because if not, there's too many people. It, it's just not cute. So, I'm going to try my best. To finish around 10, 11 at the latest. So that's about three, four more hours, which I feel like will be fine. And I'm also going to film some clips for um, Instagram and TikTok because I do want to do a tutorial on this hairstyle because it's going to come out bomb. I already see it. And I also might get on live. So I think I'm going to come back tomorrow, like either before I go to church or after I come back from church and show y'all like what my hair looks like completely finished with my makeup or what little makeup I do actually. And yeah so hopefully i will see you guys tomorrow morning for church hey guys it is the next day it is noon just got back from church and grocery shopping but i had to show y'all my hair like come on i honestly think this is my favorite hairstyle to date that i have done because just look how unbelievable this looks so i'm super excited to be wearing this hairstyle out and about i'm gonna be outside and I don't know, it looks really good. So in total, it took us three days to do a wash day. So Thursday started, Friday, and Saturday. But honestly, I cannot wait till I start wearing wigs. It's, it's only going to take me like a day to do two if I'm lazy, but just a day to like wash my hair, blow dry it, braid it down, pop a wig on. So this is my last like braid twist protective style for the 2023. I'm pretty sure, knowing me, we're going to be wearing wigs after this one so yeah but it's super cute and it's not too long not too short it just looks really nice i need to take a thumbnail let me do a thumbnail all right guys well that is it for this vlog thank you so much for watching i hope it was entertaining for you i can do more like hair beauty vlogs if you guys would like that in the future just let me know it's kind of touch and go with these sometimes they do good sometimes they don't so i just i'm trying to listen to y'all about it but if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads make sure to follow me on tiktok and instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line which i did use in this 
thing. I use my hair butter and I use my oil on my scalp. And I added mousse, but that's not part of my hair care line. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Tell me what you see in me